I've definitely been drinking before I press record, so I'm just gonna finish this too while we're at it. I'm getting demonetized. It's okay. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be a drunk Q&A. If you didn't know, I turned 21 recently, November 5th. I was born in 1996, 8.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, in case you guys were wondering if you wanted to look up my natal chart, I am really into astrology, so that stuff super fascinates me. But the point is, I'm legally allowed to drink now on YouTube. I have wanted to do this since Andrea Russett posted her drunk video. I was like, wow, when I turn 21, I can do that. The world of possibilities just opened up to me. I can just do random intoxicated stuff and not get in trouble for it. So I asked you guys for some questions on Twitter and I'm super excited to answer them. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? I feel like the lion because it'd be super stuck up. Like I'm the lion, like I'm king of the jungle. Or is that a, no, not tiger. Lions are king of the jungle, right? I'm pretty sure. Just like Leo's a zodiac sign. <laughs> I love Leo's, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do weird things happen to you when you're drunk or is everything weird because you're drunk? I don't know if weird would be the right word. Things are just different. Everything is laughable. What's your favorite alcoholic drink? I hate dark alcohol. Dark alcohol is a big no-no. Tequila, vodka, Mike's Hard Lemonade. I like cider a lot. Why are you drunk at 5 p.m.? LMAO. I, don't know that. I wasn't talking to you, Alexa. I'm not sure. What is your favorite hiking place? Anywhere in Reading is pretty freaking dope to go hiking. A story from when you were in high school, love you. I love you too, Cole. And a story that I haven't told yet. That's a tough one. Maybe the time that my best friend stole my freaking boyfriend. I've been waiting to tell that story. Like honestly, at the time, I like didn't even realize how shady it was. I was just like, whatever. But now I look back and I'm like, she literally was sliding in his DMs asking him to like hook up with her. And like, I'm gonna show that eventually. Sing Hefner by Tana Mojo. Alexa, play Hefner by Tana Mojo on Spotify. Here we go, ready? I'm gonna take another shot. I turned 21, I'm allowed to celebrate, but like, all you kids watching, please don't do this. Do you have any plans after college? Not really, except for that I really want to move to LA. Not LA, LA, but like SoCal area, like probably Orange County-ish, San Diego, around there. My plans, plans wise, like maybe career and whatnot. I'm gonna have a degree, so obviously I could get like a real career if I wanted to, but I definitely wanna keep up what I'm doing now for as long as I possibly can because it makes me so happy. I'm genuinely so excited when making YouTube videos, and I would pick this over anything, any day, because how much I love my work, my job, my career. I would love to do this for the rest of my life, but is that realistic? Maybe not. So who really freaking knows? Are you planning on doing more collabs with Olivia? Yes, love you both. I love you more, Truman, and absolutely yes. Olivia is such a great person. She's one of my best friends in the world. We literally talk every single day. And if I lived closer to her, we'd probably collab like every day of the week. So where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I'll be 31 years old. I'll probably have kids. I want to have a lot of kids. I really don't see myself living outside of California because I'm so in love love with where I live right now. Not Reading in specific, although I do love it, but just California as a state, I am such a huge, what's the word, fan of? I don't know. That's not the word. I don't know. I just love California. I love where I live. So I'll probably still live here. How does it feel to be 21? It feels amazing. I can go to bars and order drinks. Like what? Would you rather be able to fly or have invisibility? Honestly, I'd rather be able to fly because then I could like low-key teleport because I could just be like... I'ma fly to you a thousand miles per hour and be there in a second versus invisibility. Like you're basically gonna hear things that you don't wanna hear about yourself. If you ate yourself, would you become twice as big or disappear completely? I feel like I would become twice as big, like a huge giant and I'd be like ready to fight some crime or something. How many friends did you have then versus now? How do you think you've grown as a person? I'm pretty sure you mean like before YouTube. YouTube has brought out the realness in a lot of people. Some people treat you different and they're like fake AF. And some people are really happy for you and really supportive and then all also brings a lot of new people into your life like other youtubers honestly probably more people in my life now than I did before like closeness wise but I did lose friends over YouTube which like really sucks how do you think you've grown as a person I would say probably that I've learned to like not care about hate at all and that sounds cliche like I don't care about hate like I'm just saying that but truthfully if you're a youtuber you know past a certain point maybe it's different for everybody but for me I just don't care like lol in your face I don't care what you have to say about me you're 
sitting there behind a computer or just talking with your mouth about me and you're worried about me and what I'm doing. I wasn't someone who really cared what people thought before, but now I'm especially not. So that's definitely helped me to grow as a person. What's your favorite place to eat? I love Mongolian grills. Just places where they grill things in front of you, like shrimp or noodles or fried rice in front of you with the special sauces. It's so yummy. It's amazing. <sighs> My favorite meme, this isn't even a meme, but anything from <laughs> Lil Xan, I die. These girls are crazy to the point where I'm thinking they're possessed. Jesus, these women out here wild and like, they'll do anything for the clout. I said X, but yeah, I ain't gonna front. We still together. Ever plan to come to New York? I'm terrified of rats and I've heard that they are as big as cats in the sewers and I don't wanna see that. So if I could go there and not see them, then that'd be amazing. If you ever have the opportunity to do porn for 1 million, would you do it? I guess it depends what porn would be considered because some people consider like taking a picture of your feet porn because it's like a fetish. I would do that, like duh, who wouldn't? Have you ever had drama with people on YouTube that we don't know about? Honestly, no. That's a good thing. Let's keep it that way. Wildest party you've ever been to? The one that I threw when I was a junior in high school and it got shut down and so many people got DUI. So many people were snorting off of her grandma's walker, the girl's house, which we threw it at. This party was wild. This party was crazy. The first party I had ever been to and I threw it. If you guys want to see that story time, I will link it below right here. Actually name a YouTuber that when you met them, they were way different on camera than in person. I really don't know if I could name somebody. Like if anything, people have been more so how they are online than I thought they would be in person. Like they basically are the same as in their videos to a T. What was your first drug experience like? I forgot how to talk. I literally forgot how to speak. I was like, just so in awe of the world and like laughing at everything, but I forgot how to talk and make sentences in words. What's your favorite drink so far of your 21st year? Lemon drops. I never had one before and they're amazing. You can't even taste the alcohol. Like it's just a burst of joy and sensation in your mouth. What is one of your bad habits? I'm very impulsive and a lot of the time it's not the best thing to be impulsive because if it's a good thing that you're going to be impulsive with, you can wait on it. I get so excited. I want things to happen right then and there. Any period stories you'd like to share? There is going to be a dedicated video on this, but I basically may or may not have bled on somebody, like a guy, on them when I got my period. It's not what you're thinking, but it was still really, really bad. I promise. I still don't even want to share it. That's why I've been waiting this long. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Swiss cheese, Parmesan cheese, salt, butter, scrambled. That is amazing. That's what I had this morning, and like, it's just so yummy in your tummy. It's not even eggs anymore. It's equally eggs, cheese, butter, and salt. Favorite song right now? Wanderlust by Black Bear or Faking It by Calvin Harris. Have you ever exaggerated a story time. I can honestly say that I have never done that. If anything, I've downplayed stuff so people wouldn't get in trouble. Like I've left stuff out on their part. I feel like if you watch my videos, you can tell because like they're pretty relatable sometimes. Like they're not super out there crazy things that like doesn't happen to anybody else in the world. I hate the fact that I feel like a lot of story time YouTubers are categorized into like the meme of exaggerating and lying and stuff because it's not true for everyone. Stepanka asked, what are your views on nudity? Ha ha ha, that sounds so creepy. Love you, girl. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love you more. And my views on nudity, honestly, if you don't agree with me, you're not going to agree with me and you're going to think that what I have to say sounds really stupid. But I don't think that people being nude should be sexualized as much as it is. I really don't like that people can't express themselves when showing skin because it's seen as like a negative thing and it has some sort of promiscuous connotation. Anna Campbell asked, what's our fave memory together? I feel like we have a lot. Maybe being in seven days of slay, even though it lasted for like seven seconds. When we went to see Baby Driver. That was really fun, like really, really fun. Anything in LA because LA was so chaotic and crazy. We've had a lot of freaking memories together, I swear, and so many more to come. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if I should do more like this. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications. Hit that bell button next to the subscription box. Tap it twice for all my notifications. Also, I have a Patreon if you guys want behind the scenes footage, exclusive photo shoots, private snap, etc. That will be linked below. Follow my social medias and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators, bye.